take your Hey Yuri, how are you? Can you hear me? All right, how are you? I'm fine. What's up? What's going on? Uh, so it appeared that Santos said, I mean, the master of SAP has been switched to use Santos 8. Or testing. So I need to create a Santos 8 OVH image in order to fix um, deployment, tautology deployment test. Mm -hmm. yeah, because we were relying on Santos 7. So, are we seeing some failures related to that? Uh, not in sepia, it's just in the standards. Uh, it's just um, our downstream testing. So It sounds to me that I need to finish Luminous last release as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Because soon I think, you know, Nothing will be working for it. You mean master or something on master? No, I'm talking about know. luminous. Ah, okay. So I switched to master our testing jobs just because um, I was in the middle of porting to Python 3, and since uh, all purchase goes to master first, okay. I had to use. But um, the Luminous, I tried to run some tests. It was It was working for me fine. Yeah, we see some. Um, I mean, I, I loaded up full set of, of suites. And they're not finished yet, but some of them actually failing because of some packaging issues. And like people saying that it's probably not worth even fixing them right now. So I suspect that we'll have some. And once you mentioned about some stuff related to centers and other stuff, I'm suspecting that there might be some. It's too old. So that's why, I mean, I think we need to finish it as soon as possible and then forget about it. Hmm. So I'm not sure Luminous is related, but uh, you mean you mean you need to finish Luminous testing and then we stop submitting anything to it or even patches? Oh no! What I meant is that 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 I have a, a point release under test right now. Mm -hmm. uh, so I need to finish that point release as soon as possible. So we can we can push it, we can publish it, and 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 you know be happy. Mm, yeah, sounds great. Oh, we've got Nathan. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, hello you Nathan. Know. Long time no see. Yes, I was busy, 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 but. Uh, Good to hear you. Likewise. So you're talking about the Luminous release uh, that's in QE now? Yes, I'm just was saying. I, I was I, I was more like thinking aloud that we better finish it as soon as possible. Well, uh, well, I think we're going to continue getting Luminous uh, backwards, so. We may end up doing a 12.2.14 at some point, but but yeah, I mean, why, eventually they, why they saying, will peter out. What, yeah. Why are you saying so? Well, be, because I'm watching the tracker and the developers continue continue marking um, issues for backport to Luminous. 
And I assume that Red Hat has a product based on Luminous? That's still... You in, know, I, I, in, I, I don't in, know. In, I, need, I, need to, I, need, I need to figure that out. Well, I, I think uh, Red Hat Storage, that Storage 2, isn't that based on Luminous? I don't remember. I don't, I don't but know. Don't yeah. we don't we don't we have at some point of time say end of life? Well, Red Hat has an end of life, and then SUSE has also has a product that has an end of life, but it's not you know it's it's still going to be alive for some time. I don't know exactly how long, but we, we we've seen some issues yesterday. Um, I mentioned that I loaded up like bunch of suites, and um, yeah, they're still in the queue. But like one, for example, self disk uh, is failing because of packaging issues, and I like try to pin different people. And at some point, Josh looked at it and said that it has some packaging issues. And the response was that, uh, you know, it's probably not worth even fixing them. So I guess once we get into approval process, we need to, I mean, if you feel that we need to fix those, then that's a different story. Because I was kind of thinking that if it's the last release, then, you know, some issues we can let go. Do you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh uh, uh, I don't. I, I don't mind if if if, uh, if you say I Let, feel, let's do more luminous. I, I'm yeah. I'm okay with that. I feel kind of uh, kind of embarrassed, but I forgot the details about the set disk suite. But I seem to remember uh, that it only works. It only works in the cloud. I might be wrong it, about that. Yeah, I mean that's. If you if you're really interested, yeah, but I think I think that well I can I can go and look at my notes from previous releases, uh, but I think we t we run it with machine type OVH. Yes, you're right. That it's not, and you you ran it with that, and it's still oh yeah, I, yeah. It's not it's not a you know it's it's actual packaging issue. I mean it might be something else. Yeah. But I was I was kind of like thinking that it may be similar to other stuff as well, because like some upgrades that I'm running, like dual base and hammer base, and uh, it's possibly oh, yeah, that they just drop some not... of those. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, we, at some point we have to stop supporting uh, upgrades from uh, releases that aren't supported anymore, you know? Yeah. Okay. What? Uh, so maybe I, I maybe I could uh, I go ahead. Go ahead. I was thinking uh, that I could uh, or we could just you know drop some of those um, you know hammer, jewel upgrades. You know it, we we want to test the upgrade from luminous to. Mimic Luminous to Nautilus, but testing the upgrade from Jewel to Luminous seems like it's not useful. I mean, it's useful, but if if it's constantly breaking and we have to constantly fix it, then it's not worth the effort. Yeah, I, I hear you. Um, I, I and I agree. Okay, but the so let's get one, to the... We should try to fix. Yeah, I will look at it. Any updates from you in terms of other point releases? Mm. Well, yeah, I, I can update. Um, I think uh, I was just talking with Abhishek today. Um, there are two CVEs. Um, one is embargoed, it's an RGW vulnerability, and the other one is a dashboard vulnerability that's currently being backported to the Nautilus. So both of those are coming out very soon, and so we may need to do a hotfix 
just like we did for 14.2.6, we might need to do 14.2.7 as a hot fix with these two patches. Yeah, I heard about it. I heard about dashboard. I didn't hear about RGW. Uh, so who is who is who is working on RGW? It's assigned to somebody. Let me check. Or Friedman. Or it. Okay, I but, got it. Um, or, or, I don't know. Or, 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 or it who? Not or it. No, or Friedman. Yeah, let me post who, the who let me it post the, the link. Let me post the link. I don't know who it is either. But I the the bug uh, the CVE is embargoed and you know Abhishek will will know more. Or or Friedman, who, who who is that? Yeah, and I don't even well, know if this is really this is really the issue. It it's it, I just have it listed here as the issue, but I don't know if it really is. But I think important, you know, there are a couple of important points. One is, I think for me that you said that they will be coming together, right? Um, yeah, that's that's the plan right now. Yeah. Okay, and then the, the second fix for point, this RGW issue is very simple. It's just a one line. Mm -hmm. And then the second issue is that uh, so you probably were in that loop about new um, uh, hot fix process. Well, you, yeah, you know but I don't. I don't particularly like this new process. No. But yeah, I mean, I, mean, I, I I'm did. Not, I I'm, was I'm, watching. Yeah. I'm not like you know. <laughs> my advantage is that you know I have no opinion, so I'm just like following the process. Mm. So I yeah, we, we actually discussed that you know I I, I mentioned to uh, Neha and uh, Josh that I think Abi mentioned the same um, sentiment that he doesn't like some things, but. And I think he wanted to wait for Sage to come from his vacation. So as far as I'm concerned, I don't really care. You guys need to follow, like, to, to sort it out, whatever you don't like and what you want to fit, you know, change. Well, I can tell you. Yeah. Go ahead. I don't like the, the fact that all of the Nautilus PRs go haywire, you know, during this process. So well, suddenly... The... All of the Nautilus PRs have a, a million commits in them, you know, and then people get upset and confused. And, the, and well, then um, I don't like the fact that we have to mess with the Nautilus branch at all. We, I don't like having to reset it. And um, so the, the, the permanent fix for me would be to, uh, to patch the, the release uh, jobs in Jenkins so that they can work with uh, an arbitrary branch instead of it being hard coded to nautilus i'm not i'm not you know too familiar with jenkins so i'm not quite sure i think but it, it, whatever process you envision would it mean that it'll be mm -hmm. last tag plus only hot fixes Right, but it would be a different branch right now the the jenkins jobs only release from the Nautilus branch. Oh, I see what you mean. So they have to be. So you, 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 you want to fix actually Jenkins to be able to release from any any branch, not just by. Okay, listen. As I said before, as far as I'm concerned, mm -hmm. I'm fine with whatever you guys decide. I think I think what you're saying is it's probably more involved in terms of fixing, and that's why you know you 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 guys like have some difference in opinions. But but until until it's changed, I, no. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm following this process because there's nothing else I can do. And 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 a I, you know you you probably yes. you probably want to like speed up the discussion because I didn't I didn't hear any kind of like open uh, objections to the current process. 
So I, I, I do hear that you do, you know, you're not happy and Abby is not happy, but you know, you guys need to, to speak up about it. But then getting back to that release, if, yeah. if the process, if, if the process is not modified by the, that, that, that next hot fix, I will have no option but to follow whatever we have right now. And the thing yeah, to remember yeah, is that, that I need, I need, I need PRs to be staged on, uh, I guess 14.2.6. You understand, right? Yes, yes, I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, and that's uh, the, Abhishek and I will make sure you know that. Yeah. That's that's only important point because we, we will know I, which PRs. And I did talk to what is his name, Ernesto. The guy, the guy who's who's doing yeah. uh, uh, d dashboards that uh, had fixed PR and the backport of to, to not list about it. Yeah, and what did he say? Oh, he's fine. I mean, he 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 was working on the PR on uh, uh, merging that on on master. I I I didn't even see any backports to Nautilus from him. But essentially, I wanted to make the same point. So no, he, whenever, whenever it's ready for hot He fix, opened the Nautilus backport today. Did he? Well, let yes. me take a look. But, but we, like I say, we want to combine it with the, the um, RGW fix so that we don't have to do it twice. Yeah, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Do you um, do you happen to re to remember the number of that PR? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can I can give you the number. I have it open here. Just a minute. Somewhere I have it. Coming, coming. Take your time. Now I have to find. I have to. I'm. I've got a million windows open. Here it is. I don't know why that came out on two lines. Yeah, but just click on it. Well, so he. So I didn't, it didn't come in my search because there is no QA label. Okay, I got it. But anyhow, I'm waiting for... So I'm not sure... I don't even know. So when I say it's, it, it, it has to be staged on 14.2.6, does it mean that that Ceph, uh commit to branch should be not Nautilus and should be somehow changed? Is it right expectation or not? Yeah, yeah. well, what happens is we, we will merge this PR into Nautilus and the other yeah. one, and then we will uh, move the Nautilus branch to a, a different name, you know, uh -huh. and then we will can, we will we will reset Nautilus to 14.2.6 and then cherry cherry pick the fixes in and then trigger the build. This is, for this release. is not how I, 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 I might be mistaken, but I don't think this is how we did it previous time. So if you reset it, if if you if you merge it and then reset it to 14.6, you know you taken taken up all previous commits and you know mergers that we've done right oh, oh yeah right so we, we would have to reset it to the exact uh, sha one of the previous release but that's but, but yes, then the correct. question is but then the question is I'm, i may not be able to cherry pick them oh uh, there won't be a problem there won't okay, be a problem right. because so, why don't, we, why, the, why don't we talk about the it? Commits when, 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 when. Will still, yeah, the commits will still be in the repo, you know, so you'll, you'll be able to cherry pick them. 
because okay. they're they'll be merged into a branch and it's just that it'll be because of this weakness or limitation of the release uh, Jenkins jobs the release builds that they require the exact branch name Nautilus that's the whole problem that requires us to to do this um, these maneuvers with with copying the branches and then and then resetting Nautilus temporarily etc but right, yes but I made a good point that we have to make sure to to the exact uh, SHA-1 of the previous release. Right, not that's the, exactly not that, that, the, that's the point. Uh, so I was like, um, you know, okay. I was thinking that when we were like trying to uh, go through the process, we were said that PRs must be staged on the released tech, which is in this case 14.2.6. Well, I mean, that's another way it was we could leave the PRs open and then reset the branch and then merge them into that branch. That's another possibility. Okay, as long as they they can be brain, uh, merged, then it'll work. Oh yeah, no, no doubt. They can either be, if the PR is open, then we can reset the Nautilus and then merge the PR, uh, rebase it and then merge it. Uh, or, but I think it's more likely that they will be merged first and then we will just construct the Nautilus branch so that it looks exactly the way we want it for the release and then uh, do the release build. And then once the release is out, then we, we reset Nautilus back the way it was. That's all. Uh, I have a um, some, something about Toothology that I can report if we're done with the backports and stable releases. Sure. Uh, I've been uh, talking with uh, our um, kernel client developer, Luis Henriquez. We are getting closer uh, to... Um, enabling OpenSUSE 15.1 in, uh, in Sepia as a stable release or supported release or however you want to call it, and supported distro. Um, and one of the blockers, uh, there are several blockers, one of the blockers was the, the provisioning that's been fixed by our colleague Roman although I, I think the PR hasn't been merged. Uh, then there's another, after that, there's a problem in the kernel task and then another problem in the install task, even before we get to Ceph, Ceph ADM and that kind of thing. So the, the kernel task has so far not uh, been migrated or not been updated to support OpenSUSE. So uh, Luis and Henriquez and I were starting to work on that, and um, the the uh, kernel the dash dash kernel testing option uh, actually takes a um, we were thinking that we might have to actually build the testing kernel. Uh, for OpenSUSE in uh, Jenkins and have a, a Chakra and Shaman uh, publish the kernel testing repo for OpenSUSE 15.1. But it's possible, we don't know quite yet, but it's possible that we might be able to uh, install the... Uh, uh, well, we, we're talking about it. We, we have to first figure out exactly what has to be done. But I, I did find out that the testing kernels are built uh, in Jenkins and distributed via Chakra and Shaman. And of course, there's no OpenSUSE support in for the kernel yet. That's, and, and we are working on updating the kernel task to support uh, OpenSUSE.
Kier, did you have anything, any updates? I think I'm done. Um, that you said, it sounds great. Like, this is what I faced first time when I tried to run anything for Tutology, uh, for, on Tutology for OpenSUSE. And, um, yeah, uh, but, is it uh, which kind of mode for the kernel options are you in support for distro or for some the another one for both. both both we have to support both which of them are if open is a if it's I mean, supposed to be fully supported in sepia we have to support both Yeah, yeah, right. But um, is it possible to run some kernel uh, not uh, non 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 <laughs> non non option not non? to non yeah not non option to open source past without any uh, um, extra builds of kernel or something? I don't know. Well. Well, here, I'm here's just, the thing. I'm just, um, not, I'm just not familiar yes. with kernel task. It, it is possible, of course, to pass uh, dash k none on the Tutology no, no, Suite uh, command line. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, I know that that it's possible to uh, to to provide a none because I'm just uh, was looking on it. <laughs> And it's only working thing for for us for downstream. But uh, I was asking if kernel, because non option is actually disables kernel at all, kernel task at all. And right, uh, what I'm what I'm asking is maybe it's easier to implement something that not requiring additional artifacts or additional builds to be installed like kernel. And I don't know how it's called. In order to move forward with OpenSUSE support, we can we can fix uh, K distro, and that yeah, yeah. does not require any any builds, right? But if yeah. uh, we are now also investigating uh, dash K testing, which uh, typically requires a build in Shaman. Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, but we are looking to see whether it's possible to use the um, the RPM that's used for CentOS also in OpenSUSE. It's possible oh, okay. that we might be able to use the the, the um, RPM that's built already. But if not, then we will have to add the have to do the same thing for. Uh, Ceph kernel in Shaman as we did for Ceph itself. So if if we provide the um, the distro uh, value, does it mean it's it will it should not try to install any additional repos and just should reuse no, the, no. The, the kernel which is uh, um, deployed with or. With the, uh, the with the base system, or no? Well, it's not. It's a little bit more complicated, but but basically the answer is yes. The, if you provide kernel and distro, it checks if the running kernel is the latest. So it it checks the repos. It looks at the what's the latest version available in the repos, and then it looks at what ver version is running in the system, and if the running kernel is is um, out of date. Then it uh, up, updates the kernel packages and uh, reboots the system. Ah, okay. Yeah, so that's that sounds... not terribly difficult to 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 patch for OpenSUSE. Yeah, um, I'm just wanted to send my my preferences probably to have it uh, in first place if it's not. Uh, if it's not too complicated to implement. 
Yeah, we, so we'll have a, a, a PR just for K distro and a separate yeah. PR for kernel test. Yes. Yeah, it sounds great. So but from like I say, from, we we can't, yeah. uh, we can't uh, enable OpenSUSE as a fully supported, you know, until we have K testing also working. Yeah, right. But at least we need to be able to run tests with any any tests with early in order to say that yeah, it's, well, it's tested at some point. Yeah, we have to start with something. We can already run, uh, try to run a test suite to, by using k-none, uh, it, but it currently fails in the install task. I opened an issue for that. Let me post it. Install task. Yeah, it's okay. Just post me. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Install task fails in the Sepia lab. I'm not sure it's a good idea to post it in chat just because it's TCP is well, after a session. It's just for you, for your, for your notes. Yeah. Good. There it is. So from from my side, I just started to I just found some time and started to look into the building CentOS eight image in in um, our OVH instance, and I found some issues like uh, with uh, playbook and contacted with David Galloway to help me deal with it. What's wrong with CentOS eight image? And it seems like we resulted. So now What's I have the motivation to for that. The motivation is that test deploy test for the total GPRs is based on the running some basic or some 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 test uh, uh, limited number of tests like two one on against the master branch. Because most of the Py3 code goes master first. And um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. after uh, sometimes in, in December, um, people submitted uh, punches to tautology and tasks and, and self branch, sorry, self repo, which forced all suites to use CentOS 8. Yeah. And since we we had a CentOS 7 images um, only, um, so the test deploy um, is broken now. I mean, whatever you run, it's not it's failing just because it can't find any any suite. Uh, I mean, any yep. test case in suite. So you still you still can schedule tests with uh, send no, with um, Nautilus, but um, mm -hmm. it's not super useful for me just because it's I need to because there is nothing backported to Nautilus uh, related to Py3. Uh, yeah, I, I got, don't know. I got it. Uh, by the way, this is question. Until I have a CentOS 8 image, do you think we need to switch back to Nautilus uh, running for test deploy? For tautology deploy test? But it it depends on on the PR, you know. I I, I mean, it, for example, if it, Oh, go ahead. So the main purpose of the test deploy is to uh, make sure it's not the EPR is non non destructive uh, for for the system, which is um, 
tautology we're running at. Nevertheless, it, for using OpenSUSE, it's still using Python 2. The, the, if, um, if you guys can wait until I fix CentOS 8, then it's fine. I will not switch to. But if you you want uh, the gen testing, I can I can revert this change and switch back to Nautilus, the default tester testing job. Um. Uh, yeah, well, g given given that the um, the current Sepia lab is using Python two, maybe, yeah, maybe right. it would make sense to revert to Nautilus. But ideally, we would have both, right? And until until we yeah, complete the, the, the migration. The thing is that the the uh, the master is uh, the running against master doesn't break backward compatibility at the moment. Uh, it's not it's it's not the thing. That's, the question is, I don't know how much time it will take to fix and to say maybe tomorrow, maybe next week. So. If you need to some to merge something early. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, I, I'm not in any particular hurry. It would be nice to have the deploy to the PRs start to be merged, you know, sometime next early next week. I'm not, I'm not in any big hurry. I have to prepare a, a presentation for Friday. And, so, no big deal. Okay. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, um, was just thinking that that if the tautology deploy test only deploys on Python three, it no, might miss. Not. Oh, it, it deploys both. No, uh, it's uh, okay. It deploy. The last time I was trying to run it, it deploys both. Um, uh, uh, it's supposed to deploy both, but um, just because the tautology deploy, it's not running anything in Python. Just I was just submitted some patches to to be able to deploy it based on Python three, but um, the the tests are not working yet. So just uh, just because of self requires some patches and there is some there's something to fix. It's not ready to merge the corresponding tautology PR. It's not ready to merge. But it's a I hope I can do this you know, backward compatible. So it it could be deployed both. Mm -hmm. So there there's environment variable like Python for for the bootstrap script. So it depends if you provide Python 3, it deploys um, Python 3. If you provide Python 2, it deploys Python 2. And Python 2 is default right now. Gotcha. I, I got it. And, and you move to master from Nautilus to master because you want to eventually move it to Python 3. That yeah, I, I need... I need to test it before merging. Yeah. So, but even, but I can test against Nautilus because Nautilus not Python is not Python three ready. Right, understood. How a Nautilus works fine. Just um, <laughs> All right. Well, it it depends on you. If it if it starts to take a long time to get master working, then you could. Temporarily revert back to Nautilus and get these PRs merged. It's up to you. Okay, I, no, I have nothing else to report. Okay, then. See you around.
I think Yuri already left, so just the two of yeah. us. Thanks for coming. Yeah, yeah. You're welcome. I know. I'm I'm looking forward to getting the uh, OpenSUSE, all, all, uh, the ability to run tests on OpenSUSE in Sepia. That's a, a big milestone. It looks like it's we're very close. So talk to you later. Sounds great. Bye bye.